What's up, everybody? I'm your boy Retro Bliss, and this is Retro Bliss Gaming. And today we're going to have some fun with on the NES. We're going to play some Defender 2. Now, I know we played some Defender yesterday on the Intellivision, and I was um, thinking about doing a Nintendo game, and there are a plethora of games that we can play on, on the Nintendo. And I know we want to switch things up a little bit, but I, I just kind of browsed through the games, and I saw... Uh, Defender 2 on um, the Nintendo, and I thought it would be interesting to show Defender 2 for um, the Nintendo um, to you guys, just to kind of show it to you since it was fresh in your mind for those of you who are returning. So we're going we're gonna to show this to you today and have some fun with it. So um, without delay, let's get to the game. The Graphically, this game is really good <clears throat> haven't played it a bunch i didn't even know it existed actually um until i was um uh, browsing through my game list very interesting very interesting uh, i'm a little late getting to the party today i had a little uh hiccup on uh, i was trying to download a, a game on my xbox series x console and and had a problem with it so i had to contact uh microsoft to try to get that straightened out so i got that straightened out but it took me about an hour so i'm a little late getting to my stream today so i apologize for that so anyway let's get to the game very uh very interesting uh game to play so uh let me let me adjust my volume here i want to get a little bit more volume so i can kind of hear what's going on all right let's get to the game To me, graphically, this uh, beats the uh, arcade version. Oh, dog on it. Not paying attention. Oh no, I don't know if you can hear uh, the, on Wednesdays at noon here, Eastern Standard Time, uh, the uh, sirens go off uh, to, uh, I don't know if you can hear their sirens going off to test the uh, the alarms. So there's, there's not a tornado or anything going on. It's just a test. So don't be alarmed. Ow! Dog! Ah! Killed my man! I killed my man again. Ah, oh, what is that thing? Game over. Okay. Let's go again. Have some fun. Ah, I want to do that. What am I doing? Ah, 
Got rambunctious, got too quick. And them sirens are getting on my nerves. Cannabis isn't in the house. What's going on, my brother? Oh no, I didn't see that thing. Operation Shutdown says uh, Defender 2, double the pleasure, double the fun. That sounds like, uh, wasn't that double mint gum? <laughs> now we are going retro now. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I used both of my things. Maybe I hit the ground. Maybe that's what I did. I don't know what I did wrong. Okay. <laughs> like I was saying at the beginning of the stream, I was going, I wanted to do a NES game again. And I'm emulating, so I, I've got all the, all the ROMs, but uh, Defender 2, I thought, you know, I wanted to check it out and I, I looked at it and I thought, man, let's play this. This is, this is really good. Um, and since we had played a uh, defender yesterday on, uh, in the, in television, I wanted to kind of compare the versions for you guys. So this is a really good, we're going to try game B though. I haven't tried that. Wonder what that is. I don't know what that is. I just noticed that. Oh, oh man, those are the things, I forget what they were called. They show up if you take too long.
just warped to another level. Yeah, graphically, honestly, this game looks better than the arcade version in my mind. I just killed my own man. Ah! The sprites are more detailed for sure. Oh no, I didn't see that. What'd I do? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's try option B. I don't know what that is. What's game B? Well, if you play like that, you'll never find out. Seems like it's faster paced. I don't like this. It's faster. So. Oh no, I don't know. I like option B. Ah, man, they were coming to get me. Did you see that? I was trying to dodge them. Oh, I just killed my man. I don't think I like that option B too much. <laughs> I know op uh, Operation Shutdown, but man, it, I don't know. <laughs> I think I forgot to take my blood pressure medicine. <laughs> I think we're going back to option A. I just killed my man. <laughs> I have to turn my pacemaker up to do option B operation. I don't know. Oh, I didn't want to do that.
Whoa, how'd I get out of that? If I can get warped to a new level and see if that helps me. Oh, that that was not good. Unnecessary. Y'all pay attention. Axel Rose has got some fun facts for you about some English uh, rocks group trivia. Check out the chat. <laughs> What's up, Axel? If you guys were here, we could do some two-player action, man. on it I was trying to get I was trying to rescue the guy Oh man, he popped up right where I didn't want him to be. I have played Arkanoid. Arkanoid's a good game. Um, ah. Is a game be best played with a um, with a spinner? Um which I can do, which I can stream, but I would have to play it with, um, I have a spinner here that I can emulate, but the only, t the, w the only way that I have done it here uh, on the channel is with, um, uh, my main emulator. So I'd have to do it with, um, the arcade version of Arkanoid. 
But yeah, Arkanoid's a good game. Hey, Wacky, what's up? Which, uh, by the way, um, some of you may not be interested in this at all. Um, for those of you who are um, familiar with the channel, I don't know if you've ever seen me play with my arcade stick, my Atari arcade stick. Uh, my son has one just like it. Um, I bought it for him brand new, and he's probably only played played it twice. And they retailed for um, $199. And uh, he never used, he used it like twice. And he's wanting to sell it. And he lives in Jacksonville. And uh, he's asking 150 bucks for it. Um, but that doesn't include shipping. If you're interested, let me know. I can hook you up if you live in the Jacksonville area or you can pick it up. Obviously, he'll meet you somewhere. Um, if you if you don't know what I'm talking about, I can show you. I have the um, controller here. I can show you what the controller looks actually looks like. But it's an amazing controller. It's got a, a trackball on it. It's got a spinner on it. And it's got a um, an eight-way octagon... Um, um, a Korean style arcade stick on it with hap style buttons. There's eight of them, and there's two side buttons that can be programmed for uh, pinball style games. It's an amazing controller. I did a review on it. Um, bunch of people want this thing and you can't get them anymore it's a microsoft a microsoft duh, a micro center exclusive that they don't sell anymore and um he was gonna list it and i actually was gonna buy it back from him when i go down to uh back down to jacksonville to see him later on in the year Um, yeah, hold on a second. Let me, if you got, hold on a second. I'm going to show you guys this. Uh, let me, let me show it to you. Hold on a minute. Hmm. Hold on, I got it table wrapped around it looks like this it's got the eight-way Korean style arcade stick it's got the half style buttons here there's eight of them there's half style buttons on the side there's two of them for programmable um, you want to do like uh, pinball style games the spinner here for Arkanoid style games and break out and like games right there and then it's this spinner like centipede and stuff 
I use this all the time for um, centipede and missile command. And other games that require um, um, trackball style games. So if you're interested, what I want you to do is email me um, your information at philbarnhart at gmail.com and um, so um, he's asking for 150 but he's going to need shipping costs too so I don't know how much it's going to cost to ship it's a little heavy so what I'll do is Send me your information and um, I'll get it to him and and I let you contact him. And uh, like I said, he's in Jacksonville, Florida. But um, it's a it's a quality stick, man. It's in. I've had so many people. If you hold on a second, I'll I'll, I'll put a link in the description of the video that I did on this. Let's see. What's up, everybody? Hold on a minute. I want to share it. Okay. Okay, I just put the link in the description of the video that I did on it. So, um, he was interested in selling. He was he was asking for 150 but it, it will need to be shipped. So... But he's got, he's got the, it's brand new in box. He's got the, it's got the box um, with the styrofoam and everything. Like I said, he used it maybe twice. He used it, it can be used with a Raspberry Pi, a PC. Um, it can be used with um, um, a PS3, I think. I'm pretty sure it can be used with a PS3 and whatnot. So anyway, let's get back to Defender. Ah, what am I doing? Ah, screwed up on that one. Ah. 
Oh. I didn't necessarily want to teleport. I don't know what that even does. Taking too long. Ah. Oh no! Oh man, they're starting to shoot at me now. Oh, they got me good. Manchester Retro Gaming, what's going on? Hey Manchester, um, I don't recall. Do you have a uh, you have a channel? If so, tell us about it. We're playing Defender Two for the NES. Oh, really? What's up? I'm going to do a rage reset here in a minute. I'm not doing well this one. I was doing so well the last one. Oh no! What in the world? <sighs> I'm using Meeson. Be fix it. Hey Manchester, give us your link, brother. Give us your link. Feel free to put your link in the uh, in the comments, man. Some some of my friends can check out your channel. Um, let's go again. That wasn't a good one. Let's try again.
Ah! Thought I could get above him. Oh, it won't let you put a link in. Oh, man. I have to find out why. You know, I had a, I had a problem one time when I had, um, I'm going to pause this. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I can, um, There's something I can do. Maybe I can put it in. Hold on a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. There you go. I could do it. You can't. I will. All right. I'll check it out later, man. All right. Let's um let's continue on with the game. Ah, I thought I could turn in time to get it. I 
I have to check my privacy on that. Like I said, I had a, I had a, um, a stream one time where I had some people putting in some crap. I had some people putting in some vulgar and um, profane things in there, and I had to. I think I had to change my privacy on there, so that may be why. Uh, I, I try, I try to squeeze it in there. I'm going to hit a reset because I wasn't paying attention. There we go. All right. Oh, what? You see that? Just came up on me. No, what in the world?
no, 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 no. Too much going on, man. I should have hit the... Keep forgetting about there's a... Kind of get a get out of jail free card there. You have a button that'll get rid of the everything on the screen for you have a few of them you can hit. it. Just another one too. Ah, too much going on. Try not to panic. I should have panicked and hit my panic button. I just hit my thing. No! Cheaters! No! Oh, I cheated! Oh, they cheated on me! Gradius 3 on the Super Nintendo is a great game. I uh, I had that game for my kids. I'm going on 58. I'll be 58 in a few months. And uh, back in the 90s when Super Nintendo came out, that was one of the, the games I got for my kids. I still have the cartridge. 
um, still have the system um, that I got my kids. And uh, we played the heck out of that thing, man. We had so much fun. If you guys want to, I'll stream that sometime. I'm not awesome, awesome at it, but it is so much fun to play. The only downside with it is that when when you get so many things, so many sprites on the screen, the, the gameplay slows down. It just slows down a lot. Don't know why. But anyway, let's let's continue on. Let's continue on. We're having fun. I like this version. Oh no! I drifted. Uh, I tried. It's hard to turn when you're in between. You need room to maneuver. Whoa! Ah, I didn't want to go down. Let's go. Oh no! Too early! What in the world? Oh no, I hate when that happens. It just appears and then it goes right at you. Ah. Yeah, Wacky World, August 7th, 1965, man. No. What happens when you enter the warp zone? That's what I don't understand though.
We have to get there now. Let's keep going. I know I've been playing for an hour, but I'm having too much fun, man. Never was a defender guy in the arcade. I really wasn't. Wasn't good at it. As you can see. <laughs> taking my time well Ah, dog. As soon as I hit the, as soon as I hit the fire button, I knew it was going right for the guy. Ah. This isn't Stargate. This is Defender 2 on the NES. Ah, uh, won't do that. Ah. Uh. Darren McCowan. Yeah. Darren, um, Darren from the UK. We talked about this yesterday. Um, I was, I wanted to do a NES game today. And I, I, ran, I came across this game, but Darren, uh, we, we played Defender for the, in television yesterday, and he mentioned uh, Stargate for the Atari 2600. And Stargate is a much better port of Defender uh, for the 2600. And one of these days, we are going to play it on the channel, but we're not going to do it today. But yeah, this... Uh, I don't know if there's a, let me look. I want to, I might look this, hold on a minute. If you'll wait a second, I'll, let me unpause. Let me see if I, let me see if there's a Stargate. I don't have a Stargate for for the NES, at least in the officially released version. So anyway, let's resume.
Does the sound? Is it different? Is the sound different? Oh. Oh, on the any or on the Atari 2600, the Star Defender 2 is the same game. I got you. I understand now. I didn't know that. Okay. The sound seems different to me. Oh. You know what? After this game, I'm gonna pull up. I think I am gonna pull up just to see. Was there an 8-bit version of Stargate? Really? Oh, dang it. Hmm. I want to do something. Give me a moment, guys. Give me a moment. I got to do a little technical thing here. I've never done in the program. I'm actually going to change consoles. Let's check it out. Let's check this version out. Um, Dog. At least the flickering's gone. I didn't want to do that. Cool. It's the first time I've ever played this. Ah.
Ah. I knew I was getting hit. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Um. So, um, I'm a little confused. What were you saying on the NES version? What were you talking about the NES game? A drop zone or something? Well, well, we've we've played long enough, guys. I've played for uh, now about an hour and ten minutes now, so that's that's over my limit. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, we uh, we got a new friend, Manchester Retro Gaming. I'm gonna have to check out his channel. Um, but anyway, thanks for being here. Um, I'm probably going to be uh, posting a um, review review video a little later on today, so be sure to check that out, and um, and so you don't miss it, be sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. So with that, you guys have an awesome day, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.